Welcome back, Wonderlanders. It is day three. We're on our way to Hollywood Studios. May the force be with you. <laughs> if you haven't guessed, we are dressed in our Star Wars best because we're going into Galaxy's Edge. I woke up at 6.50 and got a premium lightning lane for Rise of the Resistance, yes. and we'll be doing that at 11.30. Yes. Remember, when you buy lightning lanes or Genie Plus, you have an hour to use that pass, so we have a whole hour to do that. I also snagged a Genie Plus lightning lane for Slinky Dog Dash, and that's from, I think it's 12.30 or 12.50, and then you have an hour to do that too. The wildest ride in Annie's backyard. It is. 9 35 ish yeah we're getting into the parks a little bit later but that's just because <laughs> we were both just i mean we were exhausted yesterday like we really felt our age slightly <laughs> we are heading into hollywood studios for morning to early afternoon the plan is to then take a break at our resort at caribbean beach resort and go to the grotto pool I want to hit up that slide. Yes, go to Banana Cabana, which is their Get pool some bar. jerk chicken wings, baby. I can't wait for those. Those look so good. Yeah, and really try out some of the amenities here at the resort yeah. because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what you're paying for when you come to these types of resorts. All right, Chris, let's do our OOTD so we can get out of here and go to Galaxy. All right, who wants to go first? Hey, I'll tell you what, let's do rock, paper, scissors, shoots. Oh my gosh. Who goes first? Okay. Come on, ready? It's, so, it's on three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, okay? Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I mean, you pretty much saw the shirt, but I just want to just point out, so this was the first uh, Roosevelt shirt that I ever bought, and if you don't know what a Roosevelt shirt is, do yourself a favor and look it up. They're gaining more and more popularity. Super cool. These things are really light. I mean, it, I, I, it feels like this shirt's not even on me, but same shoes i'm just gonna stick with these shoes i think forever in the parks they're like my go-to shoes i got this really cool hat and yeah i really love these sunglasses amazon i think they were like 10 bucks so and then a brand new fanny pack that i bought the other day that you guys saw you got that at epcot mm -hmm. you got a little darth vader walking at 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 let me get a close-up of that guy oh my god how cute I feel good. I feel comfortable. I feel great. I'm pumped. I'm hungry. So let's show uh, let's show them what you look like. And this is what I'm wearing today. I have a Darth Vader Star Wars shirt. I think I just got this off of eBay. I think it's Disney licensed, but I'm not too sure. The Abercrombie Dad shorts that I wore the other day because they just are so comfortable and they match really well. And then I am switching up my sneakers. I'm going with the On Cloud, uh, Cloud Tech shoes. And oh, these are the Cloud Monsters. My ears are from eBay, but they were once sold in the parks. I did not get my hands on these when Disney sold them in the parks, but now I do. I have them, put my backpack on, and let's get out of here. Let's do it. Gentlemen and Islanders of all ages, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We're flying to Disney's Hollywood Studios. All right, we've made it to Hollywood Studios. Tower of Terror is looking pretty swanky today. But I wanted to point out this boat in front of me is a friendship boat. And you could take this boat if you're staying at the yacht club the beach club the boardwalk or the swan and dolphin it I, I believe it's every like 20 to 30 minutes it does a voyage to hollywood studios to those resorts i just listed and to epcot so there is a boat loop here at the hollywood studios Here. <laughs> this is 
so cool. It's a hot one. It's a hot one. But it's been hot every day, so it doesn't bother us. But how beautiful is that? How, how, how just absolutely cool and just gorgeous and ah. And fun fact, if you didn't know, this is the exact replica, or this is an exact replica, of the Chinese theater in Hollywood. The inside's obviously different. It hosts Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, but the uh, outside is like a blueprint of it. I'm gonna lie, though I do love Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad, I miss the original ride. What was it called? Um, the Great Movie Ride. Yes, man, that was that was a good one. I believe there was like a live actor who played the witch. Who came yes, out and yeah, like, the Wizard of Oz scene. And just disappeared. Yeah. Like, yeah. That was a great ride. But Mickey and Minnie's is really fun. The technology with the trackless ride. And all right, guys. I'm hungry. Let's go get some. Food. Yes, we're going to Ronto Roasters, and you can mobile order here, and that's what I did. So let's go pick it up. So once you pass the Chinese theater, hang a left, you will find the Sci-Fi Diner and you will find Baseline. Baseline does not open until 10.30 and it does close at 8 p.m. I really hope we get to interact with some stormtroopers. Because I'm going to try something on them. So when you walk into Galaxy's Edge from Baseline, the Rise of the Resistance is going to be the first ride on your left. There's two ways to get on this ride. You can pay for a premium lightning lane, or you can do the standby queue, which is currently 75 minutes. We're here in Hollywood Studios and we're hungry and honestly it's always our first stop. You gotta really get that is. Ronto wrap. Yeah. You have to get it. This was a quick service credit and it included a a, a, a beverage and we decided to go with the beer. Yes. Yeah, I got the Surabot Valley Harvest Brew by Terrapin Beer Company. It's a Goza. So it's tart, salty, and has like a watermelon finish to it. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to. Spaceships flying around. It's good. Yeah, I bet. I look forward to this sandwich every time we come. It's legitimately one of the best sandwiches on property. Woo! That's good. That's really good. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the beer. So this is gonna be a Goza style beer. So if you don't know what a Goza is, it's a little bit more on the, the tart side, sour side. And they say that it has a watermelon aroma. So I normally don't go for Gozas, but this is the only thing that they had. But uh, Samantha likes Gozas a lot. I really do. I don't like beer and I, I like Goza. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, this tastes like a watermelon uh, warhead. Really? But not as sour. Can I try that. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Doesn't it taste like a, like imagine if, like either a, a watermelon warhead or like Jolly Ranchers made their watermelon candy sour. And I think that's why I like it because it's fruity. Oh, it's so good. We can share it. I think uh, the beer on its own, I remember we used the dining plan for this. Yeah. So the beer on its own would have been $14.50. And then the Ronto wrap would have been $13.29. But since we're using the dining plan, and this was a quick service credit, which includes a non-alcoholic or alcoholic beverage, we didn't have to pay for it. So I think well spent credits for sure. All right, we're gonna finish this off and we'll catch you guys in a bit. Better go before he changes his mind. 
You will be intercepting a first order trade shipment of coaxia. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. Now get the move on and know that I have complete faith in you. But I am coming along with you just in case. Now let's go get that coaxia. Nice pilot, made the jump to light speed. Minus what you owe me for damaging the Falcon is... Oh, that feels rough. Millennial Falcon Smuggler's Run done. That was so a, a good one. Wild ride, got yep. thrown around. I was a gunner, you were an engineer. Yeah. Yep. Was I was fun. in the back, but it was it was nice because I've never sat in the back before and I get to I get to see everything. So it was not bad. Such a cool one. So now I'm gonna try to hack the Millennial Falcon. I think I figured out how, so we're gonna try. I'm not gonna guarantee anything, but we're gonna try. So let's go see if we can do that now. Yeah, let's go. I think I figured it out. I just don't know where it's gonna do it. Hold on. I just had it. So unfortunately, even though I did hack the Millennial Falcon, it didn't interact with that hack. Mm. Um, I do know if you hack the Millennial Falcon, it shoots like, you know, steam or mist out of one of the parts of the ship. But I did a little research and I found out that Disney only allows the Millennial Falcon to be hacked and interact every so often or however many times it does get hacked, mm. which makes sense because if 100 people are up there hacking it at the same time, it'd be going crazy. So. I'm definitely going to try later to see if it'll work. But you can hack a lot of things here, so I'm going to try to see what I can do to at least get something for y'all. I'm going to try. There you I'm go. Try. I'm going to use the force. And we are going to use the force and head on Rise of the Resistance. We have a lightning lane and we are due for it. Incoming transmission from Ray. BB-8, is everyone assembled? Yes. Good. Should you be in flight prep? Yeah. Recruits, thank you for joining the cause. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a first order star destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. I'll regroup with you there. The resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Bakara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. I don't get some fun to make this a fair fight. Don't worry, I'll come back for you. Stay strong. Cargo vessel TR-141, identify yourselves and prepare to be boarded. <laughs> securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. Did it work? Good. Now give them one. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. Probe droid. You're lucky I didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Okay, get out on the rise. Wait, get those are the prisoners. Get out of the rise. 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 Get 
two droids anyway. Detention lock bridge. Gridlin must see a level D. Samantha and I rode it, we were waiting in line for like two hours because it kept breaking down. Yeah. And so it ruined that whole like immersive experience. So it left a really sour taste in my mouth. Now we rode it again after that, but I just still, I was, I had that negative memory in my mind for so long. But this revamped that and I, this is one of my favorite rides now. It's just so cool. You had a good time. I had a great good. time. Good. So what's the plan now? We do have Slinky Dog Lightning Lane in about 40 minutes. And then after that we have Toy Story Mania. So we'll be in Toy Story Land for a little bit this afternoon. And then we're probably gonna head out of the park. So we're only gonna be in the park for maybe a couple more hours. It we're coming is, back though. Yes, we're going to come back. We do have a dining reservation tonight at 50's Primetime uh, Diner. Uh, so we'll cover a little bit more on that later. But it is it's very warm, warm, it's warm and it's humid. This is a friendly reminder to you Wonderlanders if you are coming anytime between. Just, just, just anytime you're coming to Florida. Anytime. Wear your neck band, drink your water, yeah. wear a hat, Dress glasses. appropriately too. Yes, and speaking of that, I have changed. If you guys have noticed, I'm in now in a tank top because I had a cotton t-shirt on and it was black and I was like, no, this isn't gonna work. I so. changed too, but you can't see it. I took off my pants, so. He didn't take off his pants. You'd get kicked out of Disney World if you did that. Please don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> 
All right, what do you want to do? Let's get some blue milk. You want to do the blue milk? Yeah, hey listen, I know a lot of people say they don't like it. I like it. Yeah. I might get the blue and the green milk and mix it, because you liked that last time. And after the blue milk, I propose Woody's lunchbox for a brisket sandwich. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. Yes. Oh. Bob's Burgers. Oh my God. 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 All right guys, let's go. Chris is trying to hack another outpost here in Galaxy's Edge. Can he do it? That's pretty cool. You know I gotta get both. I was about to say. Uh, this, he would get trick. both. So, so this is the trick. Get the blue, get the green, ask for an extra cup, and mix them. The cast members unfortunately cannot mix them, but if you get them uh, separately, you can mix them yourself. And it's funny, I mentioned that to the cast member, she goes, oh my gosh, you're so much better when you mix them. So, let's, uh, here, I'll mix it over here real quick. Tell me if I have milk mustache. Oh my god. It tastes better when I eat it off my mustache. I'm sorry guys for the sound effects. That was a little disgusting. Hey listen, when you're in Disney, who cares? <laughs> How do you like your milk? It's more like a slushy, ain't it? I feel like it gets better. Do I still have stuff on my face? No, you're good. All right, cool. All right, you want one? Yes. I know you do. Well, well, well. No, 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 we'll step around, sure. That is affirmative. I want it encrypted. And you. We have eyes on you. <laughs> Green milk. I'm, the, I'm doing nothing. Demerit. Affirmative. Formation, troopers. All of you, step forward. I guess. Throttle forward for you, madame. Be mindful of that speed, however. And you, there's a fog on your shoulder. You already know. Snack for later. It's a shame. All of you in this outpost, hear me! Before we came to the tomb, Black Spire Outpost was um, an unruly place. It was hardly fit for you, sir. For travelers such as yourself. Since our arrival, the first order is for stability and peace. And that peace, that safety, is what the resistance threatens to destroy. We cannot let that happen. So while you might be here on holiday, we are here for business. The resistance has been reduced to a handful of stragglers without any hope of standing against us. And yet, they wish to regroup and to draw others to their hopeless cause. The stormtroopers, under my command, are on my orders, patrolling this outpost to ensure this does not happen. We expect your compliance. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? Yes! Good. Then you'll cooperate. We'll do so under erection. And moreover, you'll remember who is in charge. Indeed. I will join them. You will await further orders. I will see this outpost for myself. Yes, sir. Troopers, you will escort the Supreme Leader. How awesome was that? We saw Kylo! 
Well, what? he wasn't really I'm about to say, don't friendly. sound so excited to see him. When is Kylo ever friend? Well, I guess in the movies he was, but still. I mean, the Stormtroopers didn't awesome. yell at us, so I guess they were. I told him I was doing nothing, and he said, okay. The first order wants information regarding the resistance. Even though our slinky lightning lane is ready to go, it is very warm outside. And we're going to seek some AC refuge in the Walt Disney Museum here at Hollywood Studios. Chris has never done this before. No, it's interesting. And I've, I've been in here before, but it's been years. So let's see what type of exhibits that they have. I'm excited. Chris, what do we have here? This is Main Street, USA, Disneyland, 1954. It's from the Walt Disney Imagineering Collection. Wow. And the artist who designed this is Fred Gerorger and Harriet Burns. It's like a little mini model. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's cute. Did you imagine, could you freaking imagine in the vault somewhere. Up if you see how it kind of where Misa Saucer is dirty, right? Mm -hmm. That's one of Walt's last cups of coffee. No they preserved way. it that way. Yeah. So we put it down and they, they kind of preserve it. That's his own. Virtually yeah. Walt's. We, it's like Jurassic Park. We can, we, can, we can remake him with his DNA. It's pretty cool. Random, it's, right? Yeah, so it's such an unassuming piece because I remember when I first got trained here years ago. I asked my trainer, I'm like, why would they put a dirty coffee cup? Yeah. Like, hello, they something. go through all this. And he's like, no, that was put down and left there, and that was it. That was wow. it. Uh, <laughs> so preserve that way. Pretty random, right? That's so, sick. my fun fact of the day. <laughs> Thank you. So here's the special camera that Walt Disney invented this is the to do the multi-plane camera yeah. to give you the depth. And if you look up here, you can see it. If you kind of move the camera from like Probably side to side. Was. Take a you can kind of see how things kind of move and gives you depth. The camera's not really doing it justice. Yeah. But basically, it's just, as you saw the different planes, um, they put the different sheets of art to give you that almost three-dimensional Abraham Lincoln auto animatronic figure from the New York World's Fair from 64 to 1965. It's so cool to see like what it looks like. I mean, look at all of that. One man's dream. And what a dream it was. <laughs> that was really cool. That was really interesting to see that now. Unfortunately, we weren't able to show you all that because you're not allowed to record or take photos in there. Yeah. But it's it's essentially just a movie about Walt Disney's life when he was a kid and into his adult life in the military and how Disney kind of started. And it was really nice to kind of see that different perspective of Walt Disney World. It really made you connect with him just that much more and you got to really see how much of a dreamer he was so I really enjoyed that it was a little 15 minute movie in the Walt Museum that we just showed you guys and I really enjoyed it because it was actually narrated by Walt Disney, Walt Disney yeah, so really he like cool. told the story I had no idea nothing like that we've never seen a documentary like that or anything like that narrated so that by him really really cool and it's an AC so if you're in Hollywood Studios and you and the family need to like take a break, which I did, come over here and kind of walk through the museum and then just wait for the movie to start. They'll let you in and you know, you're looking at about 15 to 30 minutes in AC to cool down. I yeah. feel a lot better, so. I do too and we really do need to grab our Slinky Pass. Slinky Dome! Then we will get some food. It is 1.20 right now. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm, I'm ready for some lunch, but we really need to get Slinky done. So yeah, let's, let's do, do that first. Yeah. All right, let's go. 
Dude, I can't wait for this brisket grilled cheese sandwich. It is like probably my favorite sandwich on the face of the earth. I know yesterday we were talking about Cubans and muffaletas. Oh wait, no, that wasn't yesterday. That was uh, the day before. Yeah, the Epcot video. But this is my favorite sandwich, hands down. And how was Slinky Dog Dash? Oh, that's always fun. It always is the wildest ride in any backyard. <laughs> Can we get a Perfect. couple of ice as well, please? Yes. Thank you. It's a hot one today, folks. It really is. I feel like this is the hottest day out of our entire trip. But, we were prepared for that. Yeah, we were. You know, we have our neck fans and drinking water and all that good stuff. So, should it come as a surprise? No surprise at all. But, we got my favorite sandwich ever. She got it with, we're gonna share the size, yeah. but she got um, the potato barrels or tater tots and then I got the tomato soup, it's kinda like dip. Mm -hmm. Got a blue moon too. And this was all attached to the dining plan. We used our last quick service credits on this meal. And if we didn't, with two briskets, a smart water, and the blue moon, it would have been $44.70. That's not a bad use of a quick service credit. No, I think that's pretty good. If you haven't tried this yet, do it. Yeah, and it's that good that Chris and I, we both got our own. Yeah, oh yeah. I think we're gonna finish this. Kind of enjoy this. We're gonna sit in the AC for a little bit because it's hot. Yeah. The famous question, what are we doing next? Well, let's see what happens next. All right, let's just wing it. That was good, I'm, I'm full. I'm very full and I'm very happy and I'm ready for a nap. Yes, you are, but more important things are to be made and had at this moment, and it's called shopping. We still gotta do some shopping. Well, at least peruse the stores on our way out of the park because it is break time. This woman doesn't know how to peruse. This woman knows how to buy. Just saying. But that's okay, we're in Disney. <sighs> anyway. This is her life. Let's go check out the shops on Hollywood Boulevard. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna buy something, I don't care. Actually, you know what? 
You said you'd buy me some. Wow, we as were trying to find. As long as I keep find, it under $100. We were trying to find the Mandalorian helmet, and we did not find that in Galaxy's Edge. No. So, I know there is a Star Wars store in the front of the park here in Hollywood Studios, but I'm not too sure where exactly or if they sell any helmets, so we'll check that out. I bet you we would find it in Disney Springs. Most likely. All right, well, let's uh, peruse some shops. <laughs> Bye. So, we found the Star Wars sh shop. Mando helmet. I see it. I see it. Oh my god, he actually found it. Is that it? It's more money than I thought it was. Uh oh, how much? Half on it. How much? 139. Well, we've been looking for. Oh, annual pass discount! Yeah, we do get that. We gotta ship him home though, I think. Yeah, we do have to ship it home. Okay. Okay. Mando? We'll ask them to open it too for us so we can look at it to make okay. sure that nothing. We've, we've been wanting it, so. And Chris? You know the rule. If you see it, get it. This is a. This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. I've spoken. <laughs> Hello, Wonderlanders. It's 5:56. The last time we left you, we were leaving Hollywood Studios, and I'll be completely honest with you. I wasn't doing too well. The heat definitely got to us, so we really didn't film coming back into the room, which Chris and I just crashed. So, several hours later, we are refreshed and ready for our evening at Hollywood Studios. We are going to go back in. We have a dining reservation at 50's prime time, and we have a few lightning lanes that we need to get to as well. Christopher? Yes. You ready to go to Hollywood? I'm ready. You look like Hollywood. I do. Got my Marvel Roosevelt shirt, my Marvel hat, <laughs> with my Marvel fanny pack, and my really cool glasses. I'm ready to go. Yeah, he's got the swag on. That was his quick and easy OOTD. I have my leather Mickey ears on, and I had this, uh, Fantastic Mickey's t-shirt on. And then just biker shorts and Tevas. Very, very easy. I'm gonna switch out my bags tonight. I'm gonna do something that I haven't done before. She's going with the big bag. I'm curious to see how this is gonna work. I'm not gonna lie. Going with the tote that I bought. And here's my reasoning of why I'm gonna go with the tote. A, I wanna see how this does in the parks and how I like it. And we're only gonna be in Hollywood for a few hours, so this is the perfect time to test it. And B, when I'm wearing my backpack, and I don't know if you've noticed this, but I always have it only on like one sh shoulder. It's this very is true. rare that I like, and it's just like comfortability to me. It's not comfortable putting my backpack on both shoulders. Um, so I'm gonna try it this way tonight. You know, how much I actually put in my backpack. So this is, oh, and it's like a little perch. Okay, I'm liking this so far, but I'll let you guys know how I like it this evening yeah. or later tonight. But here we go, six o'clock on the dot. Are you ready to roll, my love? I've been ready. Okay, let's go catch the Skyliner. Let's do it. One last fit check before I go, you know, good. Brush off the shoulders. Hey, let's do it. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> so Chris is grabbing a beer real quick at the Spyglass Grill. I just want to come on here and say thank you guys for all of your support. Um, even if it is just a watch, a like, or if you have subscribed. Uh, this is something that Chris and I decided to take a little bit more seriously. And we really hope that you enjoy our content and our channel. Disney has been something. Hello. I'm sorry to interrupt. Just want to say hi. Mm, I got a beer. Interrupting <laughs> the most intimate moment. But anywho, I uh, grew up going to Disney World and it's just a dream for us to 
share the information, share the knowledge, share our tips and tricks. And I just wanted to thank you guys. And bittersweet because tonight's our last night of this trip. So we're gonna soak it in as much as we can. I'm sorry for ruining the intimate moment. <laughs> but yes, what Samantha said. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> All right guys, let's go. Thank you. be so excited to get on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad. Why? Yeah, you know, after saying that, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I love this ride. I'm always excited to see Mickey and Minnie. For a while, it was my favorite ride. Yeah. It really was, but rides are like moods. Some days you're feeling good and some days you're not. Some days Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railroad is your favorite. Some days it's not. Right now, it's my favorite. Hi, Goofy! Hey, Elvie, you go away for a picnic? Yep, we're off to the park. See you all there. Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here Loki motive? Oh, I don't know, Goofy. That sounds like a lot of paperwork. And I got Thanks. Be back in a jiffy. I'll pick you all up. <laughs> <laughs> going to finally get on Toy Story Mania friendly competition my forearms are gonna bleed after I'm done with this Jeez, it's a tough <laughs> ride if you know you know well whoever wins buys dinner we're on the dining plan Welcome, fellow toys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a win <laughs> All right, everyone, we're about to get on. This is a competition, so there will be no filming. I'm coming for blood. Oh my gosh. It's a friendly competition, Christopher. Yeah, no. <laughs> we're going down. Ay, ay, ay. Down to Chinatown. 
down. Or should I say? I won! I won! I won! Yes, I did! I won! I don't want to talk about it. Uh, you know, I'll recover. I'll be okay. <laughs> It's just fun to rub it in his face because, he, as you guys see, he's so gun ho and so sure of himself that he's gonna win. She cheated. I didn't cheat. I was playing smart. Mm hmm. She was watching YouTube videos before we came here. <laughs> no, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. Well done. I have to admit, Thank that you. was uh, very well played. Yes, it was. Thank Do your you. forearms hurt? Yes, and I'm very hungry. <laughs> I'm ready to eat. Okay, well, I need to check in. Uh, for our dining reservation and you can do so on the app. You do not have to go up to the restaurant to check in Do it ahead of time on the app so that way when you get to the restaurant your table's ready. Yeah, you're so. ready to go. So yeah. Let's I think go. I think I'm gonna get meatloaf. I don't know that I heard they have meatloaf there. Yes uh, We'll talk a little bit more yeah. about the restaurant in itself Let's get over there first. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So oh, no. Is it your first time with us? Yes, it's mine. At least. Please think. come inside. Thank you. Are you having fun today? Yes. yes. Too much. <laughs> yes. Oh, We've worked up an appetite. Hey. We're going to get a little tour room. Okay. Okay. Mama's place is big, so we're going to It is very big. All right, we have sat down at our table, and brother Jesse said, I can't have my electronic device. Shh, you better just shh. Well, you told on me. You better not tell on me. Don't tell on me. Promise. Well, well, what happened behind the camera is uh, our cast member was basically saying, don't get unruly and be on your best behavior. And I said, I'm always on my best behavior. And Samantha went, no, he's not. And our cast member, Justin, looked directly at her and goes, are you tattletelling? Yeah, what the heck? Sir, I already got in trouble. I'm gonna tell him. No, please don't tell him. If you love me, you won't tell him. Oh, he's gone. Are you full? I'm full. I'm happy. That was my favorite meal for this trip on property. Just, I felt like I was, you know, eating at your mom's house or grandma's house or something. Right? Totally gives off that vibe. Oh my god. I mean, like, that meatloaf was amazing. Mm -hmm. Mashed potatoes, beans, like, just home cooked meal. I feel good. I'm happy. That was really great. We're sneaking the camera because you're not really allowed to have electronics at mom's house. So we're going to wrap up our dinner and we'll catch you guys when we go outside and give you a, view a quick review. We're just waiting on our dessert right now. We'll go over that too. Yes. Samantha got the layered chocolate peanut butter cake. Dad's favorite yeah, chocolate peanut butter layered cake a la mode, yep. which means with ice cream. Yep. And I got an apple crisp with ice cream a la mode so I'm um, really soaking this in because I'm just like I said I'm very happy that was this is a 10 out of 10 and I don't give out 10 out of 10 like that no he doesn't oh, oh okay so I don't know how well you can hear me right now they have the show going on that they do at the uh, Chinese theater, so it's kind of loud. But Samantha and I were having such a wonderful time at prime time that we kind of lost track of the time. It was that good. We were uh, in the middle of our dessert, and Samantha kind of goes, Oh my gosh, it's 8.50. 
the park closes at 9 and I have a lightning lane for uh, Tower of Terror so she's gonna basically finish up over there and meet me at the tower and I'm gonna take y'all along with me this is one of my favorite rides in this park Unfortunately, Samantha does not like it at all, um, which I can understand. So I'm gonna ride it, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. What a beautiful night! It's very cool. It's no longer scorching hot. So let's go on Tower of Terror. Look at how beautiful it looks at night. So amazing, guys. All right, let's go do this. I always love coming on this ride at night because it is so eerie and spooky. So cool. From the doors, this day will be opening toward you. Thank you. I didn't. I mean, I was over at Magic today, but I didn't see anything. Else. Um, I just happened to catch. Yes, you just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone. Scream! Oh, scream away, my friend! Scream! I'm a scream too. Yeah. <laughs> Samantha, you missing out, just saying. That is such a great ride. It's a lot faster than I remember it. It was really quick. But man, I came out of my seat so many times. So much fun. We are going to bypass the gift shop and we're gonna go try to find my lovely wife. I found her. I'm on Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> that was so much fun. I was telling him how much fun it was. Yeah. I had a, a guy and I think maybe his daughter next to me and they're like, how many times did you ride this today? And I was like, oh, this is my first time. Like, this is our fifth time. Oh my God. Oh, I love that ride. You did have fun. I had a lot of fun. Okay. So, uh, I guess back to the resort? Or do you want to hit up some gift shops? Oh, y'all know the answer to that. Yeah, I don't know why I asked. So, gift shops it is. Let's go. Good night. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Hollywood today. Now wave goodbye to your adoring fans below. Bye. Well, just shy of 9.30, and we're back in the room. That was a long day. It was a long day, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Had a good day. Had a great day. We rode all the rides that we really wanted to. Yeah. We got all the little treats that we wanted to. Yeah. Well, except the baseline pretzel. Yeah. We well, ran out of time. We did. I mean, we could have got it, but if I would have did the baseline pretzel, I don't think I would have been able to crush that amazing primetime diner meal. Oh, uh, Brother Justin, our server, he has something for you. Hold on. For me? <laughs> Shut up. No, wait. no, you're messing with me. Okay, Brother Justin wanted me to give you these. <sighs> yeah! <laughs> I didn't even know this was a thing, but heck yeah, I am official member of the Clean Plate Club. Let's see if you can see that. <laughs> what? Because I did clean my plate. I cleaned mine too. Did you? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is neat. I don't know they gave this to you. Thank you, Justin. You were awesome. Primetime was a hit. And yes. I give it a 10 out of 10. I don't know if I said that yet, 
but a 10 out of 10. I don't give 10 out of 10s. Yeah, let's like do that. our review real quick because we did not have time to film a review after dinner that like we typically do because time was running yeah. out. I mean, the park closes at nine and Chris wanted to run on Tower yeah. of Terror, which you guys saw. So let's do our quick review of 50s Prime Time. Well, you already know how I feel, 10 out of 10, but to kind of go over the details a little bit more, the theming in that restaurant was super neat. It was like yes. old school 1950s grandma's house. There was like old school TVs and yep. stoves and just all types of cool stuff on the walls. It really made you feel like you were in someone's home back in the 50s. And they treat you like family there. So that's why yeah. I was saying Brother Justin, our server, they call each other brother and sister and we're eating at mom's house. Yeah. So no elbows on the table, no walkie talkies, as brother Justin said. Your cell phones. AKA cell phones. Yeah. Um, and you have to set the table, you yeah. have to clean your plate, yeah. you have to eat all your vegetables. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a really fun, immersive experience. Yeah. I would do that again, hands down. I would say pro tip with this restaurant, if you are interested in going, go there for dinner when yeah. you're done with all of the rides. The menu tends to be on the heavier side. They have fried chicken, pot roast. Meatloaf. Mm -hmm. But they have some lighter things like a Caesar salad. They had like a salmon dish. They did. But yeah, I'm with you on that, but highly recommend. Check it out. Let us know too if any of you have been to primetime mm -hmm. and tell us what your experience was like because we had a blast. All right. You scared me. <laughs> it's time for the end of the night yes. where we do our top three favorite moments, experience, food, ride, whatever, our top three favorite things that happened today. You can go first. Top three uh, in no order whatsoever. Number one, I'll start off with seeing Mando. That was really cool. Oh, yeah. uh, he's one of my favorite Star Wars characters and that was awesome. Didn't get to take a picture with him, but that's okay. My number two, uh, definitely a highlight is 50 prime time. And my number three is going to be seeing Walt's dream in the Walt Disney Presents Museum. All right, Chris, what about your top three? Prime time. Mm -hmm. Again, these are in no particular order, but just mm -hmm. prime time's fresh in my brain and in my belly. <laughs> I think my number two would be seeing the Kylo Ren kind of show. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm glad that I was like, hey, look up the time when the show's gonna happen. And it was like four minutes away. Mm -hmm. So that was really neat to kind of see that and interact with that. Number three, number three, number three. This is so hard. You would think it'd be easy. But there's just so much to choose from. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna say seeing Mando. And with that being said, Wonderlanders, thank you so much for your watch. Please like the video and subscribe if you have not. It really helps out the channel. And stay tuned for next week's vlog. We are traveling home, but we are going to Magic Kingdom in the morning for a few hours. Yeah. So we will have one more vlog in this series. Well, again, thank you so much, Wonderlanders out there. And we'll just see what happens next. Mm -hmm.